Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Today, we're going to talk about cause and effect. Woohoo! Yay! All right, here we go. All right, so um, you will you will be on this screen, cause and effect, and you'll it'll be is it week it three? Is week four. Week four. So week four. Or you'll go down and you'll find cause and effect, and you'll click on it. There you go. Very good. And so cause and effect. We're going to talk about uh, cause and effect. Cause is the reason for something happening and the effect is what happened. So cause and effect explains why things happen. And we have some signal words and some of the signal words are like so, because, therefore, since, if. You can go on and read the rest if you would like. Um, it would be, um, one of the things would be that um, we are not in school. Why are we not in school? Because of the coronavirus. So oh, I have a really good one. Okay. Um, <laughs> because we are not in school, I sit on my couch and I eat ice cream all day. The effect is going to be, you might see me on um, <laughs> that show called My 600 Pound Life after this. <laughs> I doubt that. Have you, yeah. ever, have you ever seen that show? Yes, I can hardly watch it. <laughs> uh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here's a video that you guys can watch. All right. Go right. ahead. And we and are gonna... then our guided practice. We're going to do this um, together to just to give you some idea. This should be um, fairly easy for you all. Um, if you look for those keywords that were in that blue box up at the top, if you get confused, just scroll back up there um, when you do your IXL and um, or write them on a piece of paper so that you will have them right there in front of you and that will help you to find out the cause and the effect all right miss hurt you want to uh, go ahead and start okay sure so the cause and effect a scene in which one action or event caused a certain effect um, to occur so cause and effect explains why something happened it is a combination of action and reaction cause and effect um, develops detailed story plots so we use the word because. So here is one example. Sarah practiced tennis all week and won the tournament. What was likely the cause of Sarah winning um, to win the tournament? What do you think? Okay. Um, what likely caused Sarah to win the tournament? That she practiced. Yes, that she practiced a lot. Because if you right. everybody knows that if you practice, practice makes perfect. All right, good. Right. So let's look at example number two. It says, Ted painted his old house and received many compliments. What was the effect of him painting his house? He received many compliments. Good, he received many compliments, very good. Okay, so you need to number your notebook paper from uh, one and we'll just go down the line and we'll work on these together. So let's talk about this together. It says, underline the cause and circle the effect. So that's what we're gonna do. Number one says, the school bus traveled slowly because of the icy roads. Okay, so um, what is the cause? The cause is the, um, the roads were icy. Good, and what was the effect? That the school bus had to travel slowly. Okay, very good. So on your piece of notebook paper, you can write cause, icy roads, and then effect, um, the school bus traveled slowly. Right. And number two. A skunk walked into the classroom and the class screamed. So what is the cause? Is that the, um, uh, the skunk walked into the classroom. Good. And what was the effect of the skunk walking in? The class screamed. Good. The class screamed. Very good. Now let's do number three. When the strong wind, uh, winds arrived, the treehouse swayed gently. Okay. So what is the cause? The cause is the strong winds arrived. Strong winds arrived, and what it is the effect? Made, it made the tray, tree house sway gently. Okay, perfect. Um, do you wanna keep going, or should we let them do the rest by themselves? I would say that this is, that I think you guys have this. I think okay. I, I heard somebody say, goodness, we have this, Mrs. Lanners and Mrs. Hart. Okay, so we're gonna let you do it. Number four through um, 12. You do not have to do this writing assignment because um, we have another writing assignment for you. So you're gonna do 
since you've already written down number one and two and three, you'll go ahead and number your paper four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Right. All right. Very good. Very good. And you'll find that in your packet too, if you have a packet. If not, just use notebook paper. All right. So let's talk about um, this assignment on Get Epic, Miss Landers. Okay. So on Get Get Epic, you will find in your mailbox. And um, so a couple of uh, books that will be labeled cause and effect. So find those in Epic Read and you'll choose two. And you're, I want you to write down the name of the two books. And I want you to write a paragraph for each book explaining the cause in, and the effect that was talked about in each book. And this is kind of like we, you know, summarizing. I don't need to know every single thing. I just want you to write a paragraph in summary form. Please use descriptive words and please use the right punctuation. And those are the things they're going to be looking for. And remember, a paragraph is always five to seven sentences long. And so you'll have a paragraph for each of the books. You'll have one paragraph for the first book and another paragraph for the second book. Okay, great. So two paragraphs there. And right. then on that same piece of notebook paper, you're going to write your journal assignment. Go ahead and tell them what that is because this sounds really fun. Yes, today I decided that we, you might need to go outside after you make a paper, paper airplane, you're gonna go outside and fly your paper airplane if the weather permits. If it's raining, then you might fly it inside the house and I have a big if your parents say it's okay. <laughs> if they don't, then you might have to go in your room and um, do it where they don't have to watch. <laughs> and then you're gonna write in your journal about flying the airplane using descriptive words and your five senses, okay? And remember to date your journal. And also, you will also go ahead and do your world event paragraph too. I just didn't, I didn't note that down. Okay, so you're what's happening do today? Two paragraphs, yes. All right, so let's do a summary of everything that they have to do today. So okay. you're going to go back, you're going to watch this video, check out these words that um, help you to identify the cause and effect. You're going to work on this packet. Um, you're going to start with number one. And you're going to um, work through number 12. Then after you've done that, on that same piece of notebook paper, you are going to um, get on Epic Reads, read those two short books, and you're going to talk about the cause and effect in a paragraph each for one paragraph per book. Then you're going to create your journal assignment using your paper airplane. Um, and you're going to write five to seven sentences about um, your experience flying the airplane using your five senses and then you're going to write one paragraph telling us what is going on around you today that sounds right. great that sounds like a fun yes. fun day yes okay very good very good all right so if you do not have any questions or if you do have a question i guess you'll have to email us but um we will see you back here tomorrow all right you all, all right. have a good time working bye bye Okay. Hold on.